This is what we think is going on now based on almost 30 years worth of work, I guess. Huh? We have a competent lymphocyte. It makes tumor necrosis factor, which is expressed on its cell surface. These cells produce enough pro-inflammatory cytotoxic cytokine to destroy a target. They also produce cell surface receptors that allow them to recognize and attach to the altered antigens on the surface of a transformed or malignant cell. Sort of like an antibody when attached to this altered self protein. When TNF is cleaved this close to the target, now we're talking almost cell-cell contact, tumor necrosis factor builds in the microenvironment around the cell, engages the R1 receptor. We now know there are two receptors for TNF, TNF R1 and R2. If it engages the R1 receptor, it trans transduces a signal to the cytoplasm of the cell, which rapidly depletes the cell of intercellular antioxidants, catalase, dismutase, um, uh, glutathione, and the cell dies of oxidative stress very quickly. In the lab, we can do this in 200 milliseconds. The other receptor for TNF, the R2 receptor, transduces a signal to the nucleus of the membrane, the net result of which is turning on apoptotic genes. When that gene is turned on, the cell is genetically programmed to commit suicide. And we're cured of our virally infected cell, we're cured of our, we've destroyed our transplanted cells, etc. All the cancer does is simply overproduce those same receptors, perfectly normal R1 and R2 receptors, but overproduces them to the extent where they cleave off, they literally shed from overcrowding into the microenvironment around the target, in this case a cancer cell, and they start building up in such high concentration in the microenvironment that as this otherwise competent mononuclear cell moves in to attack the target, the TNF on its surface gets engaged with a shed receptor. So now the TNF is neutralized, can't engage the cell surface receptor, and can't signal a death signal. The cancer cell is immunologically protected in its own little world. The patient is otherwise immunologically competent and can resist viruses and fungi and all the other things. But in the microenvironment around the tumor, the immune system is neutralized. The ability of the immune system to recognize the tumor remains, but it's lost its ability to kill it. And what we do here is we remove these inhibitors. We drop the levels in the blood sufficient that there's a net movement of these inhibitors away from the cancer cell faster than the cancer cell can produce it. And what we see clinically is the avidity of tumor inflammation that we produce, it seems to be a direct function of how rapidly we, and, how, and how low we get the level of these inhibitors in blood, and ostensibly extracellular fluid, and how long we keep them down.